Hello guys, so they released Cloud Code on the web, so you don't need the terminal necessarily anymore. And I tried it and in this video I will show you how it works and my opinion whether it's that important. And from the first minute since the launch people were cheering like finally here we go, Cloud Code on iOS or on your phone. But notice, it's not about the web, it's iOS and in this case from your phone. So I think this is a primary use case actually. So in the official release tweet, in a subtweet, they kind of clarified it's from your browser or iOS app. And that browser can be on your mobile device, right? And this is exactly what I tried just before sleep, tried to launch Claude on the web on my Android phone so I don't have the official app of iOS. It's just web in the Android Chrome browser. And I've made a bunch of screenshots, so basically it greeted me with just try it and I went and tried it. So to use it first you need to connect your GitHub, this is down below, you basically allow Anthropic the access to your repositories, then you need to set up Cloud Code environment, and this is important, how they work actually on the web, so you launch Cloud job, Cloud task, and then it creates so-called sandbox in the environment. And I've just chosen the recommended option for trusted network access. And then here's the zoomed in version. You choose the repository from your list. So it gives you the list of all your repositories from your account. And then you start prompting and launch. Nothing really too fancy here. But of course on the web you don't have a lot of things which you would have had in the terminal. For example, you cannot mention files or folders. I tried it. It doesn't work. And for a reason. It doesn't have the full code base indexed anywhere so basically it's just simple prompt without too much context. And this is one of the limitations and I will talk about them in summary a bit later. So I had to run the query without mentioning anything, just number of clients. And this was a simple query with Laravel and Filament project. Then it started working and also asked if I want to enable the notification to get notified when the task is complete. So you can basically totally go off computer or turn off your mobile phone and get notified when it's done. From there, the usual cloud code stuff, like you would use that in a terminal, so it shows the progress, analyzes the files of that repository, and see interesting thing, slash home, slash user. So this is the environment, the virtual sandbox environment, where Claude clones your repository, if I understand correctly, and then performs all the operations on that folder, home user, and then your project name. It also creates a to-do list, so if you want to follow along, you have the plan to follow. That was one thing I wanted to test. Does it actually inform about the progress? And it does really well. And then on the next step, this is where it got interesting, and then I saw the limitations of Cloud Code Web. See, it's trying to create a file with PHP Artisan command of Laravel and Filament, and the problem is that PHP command not found. So this is what you need to understand, that virtual environment doesn't have anything. It's just, as I understand, Linux machine, so it doesn't even have PHP installed. But then Claude, in its own fashion, if it doesn't find something, it tries to discover. So which PHP tries to find Artisan, list the files, and then the results are even worse. So vendor bin, no such file or directory, docker command not found. And then as a workaround, it goes back to Linux commands of listing files and then making the directory and making the file manually. And then crosses it off to-do list. So it did the job, but as a workaround, maybe taking longer than it would have done with PHP artisan command. And the same happens with the next to-do list item. So there's test the widget and run pint and it's unable to do that because it's not in the sandbox. So it does generate the tests files, which Cloud Code does often, and that's a good thing, but it cannot really execute those tests in that environment and cannot confirm that the code actually is working. But then it still proceeds and pushes the changes to GitHub branch of your repository. So this is the actual git command that was executed, git commit with generated message, and inside of that message it says generated with cloud code, and then this is the branch, and then you have git push to the new branch with randomized name but cloud inside. And that's it, then Cloud Code says perfect, as Cloud often does. I shot a video about it a few days ago. It's always perfect, awesome, and outstanding. And the usual summary, what it did and how it works. 
And then as a summary, the next step is that you should run all those commands because it was unable to run it in that sandbox environment. So the changes are pushed to your branch and from here you can create a pull request, which I did. So I clicked that link, which led me to the GitHub web, open pull request, title and description are automatically generated. And this is how it looks inside of the pull request. Claude committed one minute ago. This is the commit and two files were changed. So it added a filament file for the widget and then it added automated test, which it didn't execute, but I will show you in a minute whether it actually works. And then this is the final result. So pull request with commit with message coming kind of from myself, but also commit done by Claude and generated with Claude code. And then I was unable to quickly check that on my mobile phone. So I went to sleep and then the next morning I'm shooting this video. And then I actually checked whether it works in the project itself, not in the sandbox. So this was the filament project and I wanted to have the number of clients, which is 120 here on the dashboard as a widget, just the number. This was the task for testing. Did it work? So I went to my source tree, which I use for Git branching and stuff and pulled down everything and checked out the branch by Claude. So I didn't merge the pull request yet. I'm not even sure I will because it was just a testing task for a demo project. And let's see the result. Here's the widget code, which is very simple. I was expecting that to do well because it's a pretty simple task. And if we refresh the dashboard now, there we go. We have the dashboard widget successful. What I was curious about is automated tests. So this is the file it generated with automated tests with PEST, similar to other test files probably, and then does it actually work? So if we run that in a terminal, PHP Artisan test with that specific test, and we have three PEST tests, all successful. So yeah, the first attempt with Cloud Code Web was successfully completed, and I'm fully satisfied with the results. So now, will I switch to Cloud Code Web and start Vibe coding instead of actually typing the code? Of course not. I will do that sometimes. And this is important in my opinion. So who and how would use that cloud code web? Of course, you will see tweets like this from mostly Vibe coders that finally you can run AI agents 24 seven in the background on the web or on your phone. This is great, but this is not my style. This is not what this channel is about. This is for developers who want to offload something to the agents, right? From that point of view, there's only limited set of tasks that we can offload to the agent and be sure that it will deliver something without the virtual environment ready for that. So as you saw, it cannot run PHP commands at the moment. It cannot run tests to ensure that the code is correct. So this is kind of a lottery in a way whether it will deliver successfully and we need to take over the task after the cloud code web is done. And this is exactly the use case. I like this description and tweet by Gosu Koder, pretty famous reviewer of AI these days. This is exactly how I envision people using something like that. When away from the house, send off a few job when you have some idea and check when I get back. In fact, this is exactly what I did in my case. So I went on the phone and typed in the prompt. And then the next morning I went to computer, to GitHub, pulled everything down, tested and saw the code in depth. So in a way, the goal for Cloud Code Web is to quickly type in the ideas, kind of like draft pull request or draft code, just to have kind of the first alpha version of that code. It's similar like you would take note to not lose some idea that comes to your mind. This is also a good practice in general in life. So yeah, instead of typing some note, you can type the prompt in Cloud Code Web and it will transform it into some kind of code, probably if it's successful, which you then continue with when you get back to computer. But still you need to understand that it happens on their sandboxes in Anthropic containers. Simon described it well, it's the same as Claude with dangerously skip permissions. So it will not ask for any of your permissions. If it tries to run something, it will do that automatically. All you need to do is prompt and then get something back. And this part becomes important also Tariq from Cloud Code from Anthropic talks more about sandboxing in general, how they do that. So you should probably read inside of the official announcement about Cloud Code on the web. Down below, you have a few links to engineering blog and documentation about sandboxing approach. So if you're interested in that, 
they are kind of openly sharing what's behind the scenes of that all infrastructure. And actually this cloud code experience reminded me of cursor agents, which I tried ages ago in AI terms. It was summer, so you can go to agents. Again, you can select the repository and prompt the agent, which again goes to some kind of sandbox and does the job. So it's not a new concept. It was in Cursor like months ago. And actually I have the dates here. So yeah, July 3rd and July 1st. So yeah, with Cursor, you could flow the task to the agent and choose the model, including Claude models. But the problem at the time, I'm not sure I would need to retry, was the pricing. Because at that time in July, it was choosing the Opus mode of Claude, which was hugely expensive. So for one prompt, I paid like $10 or something. I'm not sure about cursor, I would need to retry that, but with Claude code, it's available as a part of your plan for Pro and Max users. They say it's in beta as a research preview, but it actually already works. And you don't need to pay anything extra if you are already on Anthropic plans. So yeah, what do you think? Would you offload something to the agents like that in a sandbox, in a virtual environment? And in what use cases you would do that? Or what other limitations you see? What tasks or what projects could not be delegated this way? And if you have tried, share your experience in the comments below. And finally, a reminder that every Wednesday I sent a newsletter about agentic coding. So this was the last issue. And for this week's issue on Wednesday, I will now go and add a lot of links related to Cloud Code Web because everyone will be buzzing around that and I will have a lot of things to share. So in that newsletter, I share a lot of links with my own comments on top. If you want to get that, the link will be in the description below. I send it for free every Wednesday. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.